All right, uh, we got our boards back from PCB Way. Thanks to PCB Way for supporting the channel. And uh, let's take a look at what we got. Uh, we got some silk. Uh, I want to say, say silk screen. It's solder screen. So, and it's not solder screen. It's solder stencil. I just need to get that into my vocabulary. I don't know why it's not in my vocabulary. It's a solder stencil. There we go. Let's take a look. I actually had to order it twice. I, <laughs> I placed the order and then it has to get reviewed. And they came back and it said it was okay, ready for payment. Then I noticed I hadn't ordered the solder screen, so I had to cancel that order <laughs> and go back and do it again and put on the solder, uh, solder stencil. Um, so yeah, there we go. I'm just kind of stuck there. That looks good, real simple one, but it's nice to have, makes it easy. Uh, so uh, we got uh, some boards here, pull one out. Oop. Got 10 of them. And uh, yeah, take a look at these. Uh, I've got MSI Dog and uh, Panaplex. All right. All right. So the scary part's going to be: Does my footprint match the part that I was aiming for? So this. Uh, can you read that? It says uh, Sperry down here, and it's a cinch two. CS763. Anyway, if I had done everything correctly, those holes match that pin pattern. So let's bring it over to the board and find the holes. They're right there. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect. All right. I like it. So that's a, that's a relief. Had to type in all those numbers to get every, all the coordinates correct, but uh, the data sheet was right. Had all the numbers correct, and uh, we can uh, load it up. Let's see if we can get it to go. All right, I got the board all loaded up here. Looks pretty nice. We have uh, surface mount components, through hole components, and vacuum <laughs> vacuum components. Uh, so yeah, that. Uh, that looks pretty good. So um, what I've done is I have um, put a little program in the micro just to do a count. I don't know if it's gonna, it, it toggles the bits. That's, that's all I care about. It's toggling the bits. The, the order might be wrong, I don't know. But uh, it's just counting and throwing some bits onto the bus. So we're gonna put uh, five volts uh, over here and um, there we go. And we'll put 160 volts over here. So we have 160 volts over here. And then I'll turn, oops, let me move you guys and I'll turn the power supply on. All right, 160 volts, go. Look at that. Oh, it's working. <laughs> okay, uh, well, we can look, watch this one. These guys are kind of going fast. B, C, it goes all the way to hexadecimal. Uh, D, E, F, and then goes to zero. Should be, right? yeah, there you go. So yeah, so it's, uh, it's working. Uh, my count program is counting. It's just, I, uh, it's a 16-bit shift register and I'm, I'm not, using all the bits correctly, or the bytes correctly, I should say. Nibbles? Yeah, nibbles correctly. We have four nibbles, right? Four, four, and four. So yeah, let me uh, let me scratch my head and figure out the program there, but uh, yeah, it's working. Let me turn out the lights. Oh, what a beauty, joy forever. All right, that deserves a some zoominess here, right? Let's go down. Oh, I love these displays. They look really nice. They look, um, 
I don't know, they kind of like NASA, you know, they, they have that vintage quality look to them. Uh, yeah, that's pretty nice. All right, I've changed the program. Yay. <laughs> um, these two guys were doing well, and then uh, this guy over here, I needed to do a shift, shift right eight bits. Um, so uh, it would take the correct, correct. Uh, so these are gonna, so these gonna do the bottom eight bits of the count, and then these will do the next four bits of the count. And uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, one more time. Lights out one more time. What a beauty. Well, this has been a fun project. A very, very fun project. Um, if you were wondering, I had two different locations for the current programming resistor and uh, it needs to be pulling up so it, it, I loaded them in the up the the top 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 uh, location instead of the bottom location bottom location pulls it to ground the top location pulls it to 5 volts and then that programmed it with a 10k resistor uh, so that's the brightness I got with a uh, with a 10k resistor uh, yeah and it's drawing almost nothing from the 180, I'm um, 160 volt supply. So that's super cool. And on the five volt supply, it's pulling around 50 milliamps, five zero. Um, anyway, super cool project. Uh, I don't know why anybody would repeat this project, but I'll go ahead and put this up on my PCB way share site. Um, if anybody, Anybody has some particular uh, panaplex, panaplex displays that they want to uh, make drivers for. But uh, yeah, that's been really cool. Thanks, Mike.